Sharing God's Secrets by Brother Bok Singh. December 5th. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Psalm 89 verse 34. There are seven colors in the rainbow which stand for seven covenants. First, God made covenant with Adam in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Second, God's second covenant was made with Noah, Genesis chapter 9 verse 9 to 11. Third, God's third covenant was with Abraham, an everlasting covenant. Genesis 17 verse 19. Fourth, God's fourth covenant was with Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 15. Fifth, God's fifth covenant was with David. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 12 and 13. 6. God's sixth covenant was with the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 2 verses 7 and 8. 7. God's seventh covenant is with the believer. Hebrews 10 verses 12 to 17. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7 promises that the overcomer will inherit all things. Revelation 4 and 5. These chapters reveal the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ in the heavenly church when the church is perfected. There was a rainbow round about the throne. The seven spirits of God speak of the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Revelation chapter 4 verse 5. The four beasts speak of the four great virtues of the Lord Jesus Christ, of which we partake when we come under his headship. The lion, Proverbs chapter 30 verses 29 and 30 is the strongest of beasts. It goes straight across a river even though the current is strong. The calf, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, is used for plowing. A weak oxen is yoked to a strong oxen who carries most of the burden. The man, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 17. He became a man like us. He allowed himself to be tempted like us. He is touched with the feeling of our infirmities so we can come boldly to the throne of grace. The eagle, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 11, the eagle builds a nest in a high place. We receive these four characteristics by coming under the headship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. The elders represent the overcomers full of praise. The strongest proof of an overcomer is that he is full of worship. If there is no worship, there is little growth. We may have good teaching, but if there is no worship, there is no growth.